What's up, guys? This is Duran Productions. We have a brand new Meet Notebook Pro, late 2019 version with Intel Core 10th generation i7. It has a discrete graphic with MX250, 16 gigabytes RAM, one terabyte SSD. It's the best laptop from Xiaomi. Let us open it. The seal is very tight. The laptop is wrapped properly by phones. The charger is in China 2 pin standard, a Type C charger with a maximum 65 watts. The cable is a Type C cable. Looks very similar to Apple style. Let us remove the plastic seal. It's very, very heavy, two kilograms. It feels like gray, but a bit more silver. The craft ship is a bit strange. You will find that the A side extrude out a bit. On the A side, there's nothing. As per tradition for Xiaomi, at the back side, you can see all the different types of stickers on it. It has five plastic stands and a very wide window for cool fan to go in. The plastic stands are pretty high, which allows enough wind to come in. On the left and right side, there are pretty two small speakers. At the back side, there should be a port for the wind to come out. On the left side, there are two Type C ports, one micro SD card reader. On the other side, there is an HDMI port, two Type A port, and one earphone jack. Compared to general Xiaomi laptops, it has decently more ports. Now, let us open it. We can use single hand to open it. It looks pretty good. The front side get a full laminated screen. It looks similar to MacBook Pro. On the bottom side, it has a Mi logo with a wider bezel. Left and white right bezel is very narrow. The top barrel is a slightly more wider with a CCTV camera. This is something you may want to note is that the camera is not really well centered to the hole on the display. We check the keyboard. It has no numeric keyboards. For some, it's a good news. For some, it may not be. The, sound, the keyboard feels very clicky. Not as bad as MacBook Pro. The bad side is that the power button feels the same as a general, a general key. I would suggest to put a big power button so that you will not accidentally press it. The touchpad is excellent, feels like glass. It feels much better than plastic touchpad with a fingerprint sensor at the right top corner. Now, we check the performance of this laptop. Let us turn it on. A Mi logo at the center. 
The speed is pretty decent, approximately 15 seconds. Generally, daily work feels extremely smooth thanks to the great CPU and GPU. It has a gorgeous 15.6 inch display with 100 sRGB gamma. Let us try to log into Xiaomi Notebook Pro official website to see if it can web browsing properly. It is definitely one of the best laptops in 2019. Everything is so smooth, especially when I'm using the touchpad. It's not just smooth, but silky. We open a video, Joy of Life. The sound quality is excellent, not comparable to MacBook series, but it's the best as far as I know. Much better than general Lenovo, HP, or Dell. There is some reflection from the screen. However, the color and brightness is really ideal. We open IDA64 to check some specs. It has the latest Intel Core i7 10th generation CPU with a high frequency. It comes with a 62 watt hours battery, although designed to be 60. It has dual channel, 16 gigabytes RAM DDR4 on board, not exchangeable. It has a strange display. We cannot find any information. Anyway, it looks excellent. The solid state drive is from Intel. It's an Intel 660p QLC. It's a cheap one. I would like to suggest Xiaomi to use more advanced solid state drives like PM981A or Black Drive from West Digital, which is better since Xiaomi is selling a pro laptop. The Wi Fi is from Intel AC9560. It's very quick and will not be as slow as the crap brand from Realtek. Now we run some benchmarks of this laptop. It has a very high frequency CPU and it extracts every score of an Intel 660p. The score, except for the read, sequential read speed, is actually better than the SSD. I just tested the black drive from West Digital SN720. Actually, if Xiaomi can swap to a Samsung one, it could be even better. And Centibench R15, the CPU only has 580 CB. This is very low. Generally, this Intel Core i7 10th generation CPU can give you a 750 plus score with ease. This shows that this Xiaomi laptop has some problems to support the CPU with enough power. This is not very 
suitable for Xiaomi to call this a pro version, since pro version, you should expect better than general laptops. After some general specs, we go to basic stability test of CPU itself. Before the stability test, the temperature is 40 Celsius degree plus, which is pretty okay. There is almost no noise in ideal status. The discharge rate is 10 watt. And by dividing the total battery size 60 watt hours, you can expect only six hours from this Mi Notebook Pro, which is very poor. Take in mind that we're not running anything now. It's ideal. Press start, and then turn to high performance mode to allow everything to run at its highest potential. At the first, the CPU power goes to 30 watts plus. However, this power consumption goes down extremely quickly after 10 seconds, and then just 2.3 gigahertz. It is very strange that why Xiaomi limit the temperature to 60 Celsius degree with a low CPU power. After two minutes, everything didn't change. This shows that Xiaomi didn't want you to use any power of the CPU from this Pro laptop. I was just thinking, did I do something wrong since I do not plug in the power? Do they want, to, want me to feel comfortable? Okay, if I were wrong, let me plug in the power and see if I were wrong. Unfortunately, nothing changed, even after we restart the stability test. The power consumption is also limited to 15 watts with a 2.3 gigahertz frequency. Now, you can see that the i7 processor is far worse than Core i3. It is basically the rubbish in the rubbish for 2019. Do not buy this laptop for any heavy work. We now go to test both CPU and GPU stability. We open hardware info so we can check the frequency of GPU. Let us click GPU. Bear in mind that we have the socket plugged in. Very unfortunately, still, the power consumption for the CPU package is still there. The CPU frequency is limited to just 1.4 gigahertz with quite some power given to the internal integrated GPU. We may have some problems since we cannot really make the MX250 to work. Probably if the script MX250 goes in, the CPU frequency will go even lower. As far as we have tested, it is not difficult to see that the thermal condition of this laptop is good. The problem is that Xiaomi put too much limit to this Pro laptop. Generally, a laptop can go to 80 Celsius degree without a problem. We finally come to some conclusions and suggestions. It now sells around 700 RMB, which is around 1,000 US dollars. It looks gorgeous 
it feels gorgeous. For daily work, it's also gorgeous. If you want a replacement for MacBook Pro, but if you do not want to spend so much money, then please just go for it. This Xiaomi is excellent. But if you are looking for a laptop that has a proper performance for video editing, for photo editing, then skip the rubbish Xiaomi laptop. The Apple one is far more stable and far more powerful. If you are not so mean on the appearance, you may choose HP series. The good side about HP laptops is that it employs two expandable RAM slot and an additional 2.5 inch bay for additional hard drive. You may also consider many Lenovo laptops such as Y9000, which is far more powerful than Xiaomi, also the Y7000. If you need a lightweight one, then you may consider Lenovo Xiaoxing Air 15. It's better than the Xiaomi Pro everywhere, with better keyboard, similar screen, and an insane 70 watt hour battery. It even has an additional 2.5 inch bay and a slot for RAM expansion. If you are happy with an AMD professor, processor, the Honor Magic Book Pro has a 16 gigabyte version. It's really gorgeous and very, the price is very good. You can get approximately $700 to $800 on Taobao. As for Dell, it has pretty decent device, the Inspiron 5000, although the basic Dell model may have some thermal issues, but anyway, it's a cheap one. All the market competitors shows that Xiaomi is not really doing well compared to its competitors. The performance is simply too limited. Well, the outlook and the design is just about the average at its price range. And thanks for watching.